Hello everybody and welcome along to Assetto Corsa, something a bit different on the channel, a bit different um, variety for you guys. Yesterday we had Battlefront, or whenever that went up. I'm recording these all in bulk, so I apologise if my head sounds a bit all over the place. Um, yeah, Assetto Corsa we haven't really done any videos on. We have the day one live stream, but that was about it. Um, because this game just really isn't my kind of handling in the in the way I play racing games. It just doesn't really feel like it handles like the way I like it, like it's real or anything along those lines. So that that's why I haven't really played this game a lot. But there is one car on this game that we're going to be racing today uh, that I do enjoy driving, and it's the most I enjoy driving a car, you know, in in general. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to jump into things straight away, and we're going to go race that. So. We go to drive, we get to quick race, we're going to be doing five laps of good old Spa, when I can find it. There it is. We're going to be using our, the Praga R1, as you can see on your left. That's the car that I love driving on this game, it's, in the, it's phenomenal, um, to put it in short, and you might see why. So, yeah, we're going to skip along, we're going to put that up to hard. I'm going to set up the race, and I'll see you guys on the grid. Okay, so here we are, finally on the grid. Um, GG is set of course loading times, another thing about this game I don't get along with too well, but let's skip over that and let's get ready for our five laps of here. Let's get sat up, let's get comfortable in our chair, and let's get ready to race. Let's do this. Here we go on the grid. Gotta remember not to get caught out by the lights, not to get caught sleeping. Here we go, one, two, three, four, and now five lights! All live commentary for you guys today, here we go! As it is live commentary, I will apologise if you hear my uh, paddle shifters, but that's just the way it goes. Okay, so, turn one, take it easy, try not to get caught in any accidents. Guy there, not sure who it was, we'll get his name in a moment, that was close. Fernandez, very careful into turn one. Buckley to our left, in the blue car, the standard blue Braga. Oh, he's gone very close to the grass. Can we get a bit of tour going around the outside of a rouge? Oh, yes we can! Okay, he broke very early. Wasn't meant to do that. This car's ahead of us making contacts. It's Fix and Hardy made contact in our rouge. We'll take the the benefits of that. That was, must have been scary for them guys because they like proper bang wheels in the middle of in the middle of a rouge. So that that's scary stuff. Don't want to get involved with that. Um, another thing I want to point out about this game, which is kind of cool in its own right, let's, let's just focus as we go for the scan gently. Stay away from the curbs. This car game has auto spin curves on every single curb. This one on the right, especially. But yeah, it doesn't have like a mirror in the top middle of your screen to simulate a rear view mirror in the cockpit view. So you're rely like to, to see behind you. You rely on the arrows or looking in your actual rear view mirrors with the L2 and R2 button on the wheel, which is quite cool. But let's get back to racing. Divebomb.com kind of got our elbows out there, made it past Hardy, almost as if we had a personal win there against him, Pop Look. But nevertheless, we're a bit to P11, back end getting a bit loose on us through there. Can we do anything about Tansy on the run up to Blanchemont on the bus stop? She came, we'll see. But I think we're going to have to wait to the bus stop at the earliest opportunity for a move. Stay with him, we're gaining. Gaining 141, 142 miles an hour plus at this point. Try just to hold on to his rear. You lose downforce when you're in the slipstream, remember? So we're trying to hold on to him. Go up the inside of the bus stop. Got to be really careful at the bus stop on this game though because there's a bump. And if you try, oh, he's managed to hold his position on the inside. Good battling. Good battling with Tansy there. Good, good effort. But yeah. Bus stop is really tricky on this game. There's a bump, and if you try pushing at all to buy some to pass his lap, then yeah, you, you get punished for it, so you've got to take it very conservative through the bus stop again. Can we maybe think about move on a move on Tansy into a ruse? It looks like we're a bit far back. Maybe the camel straight. And get a good run out of here. Which it looks like we might have. We'll be able to attack him on the camel straight. Yeah, we got a good run. Let's go to the outside. He's got the inside covered. We'll go to the outside. He's holding the inside. Look at that. We're pulling on him. We're pulling on him all the way. 69. Number 69 car. Down the outside? 
Is he going to let us get away with that? No, he's not. He's going to fight us all the way. But I think we got him. In the end, we've got him. Nice. That's up us up into P10. Even though the scoreboard says 11, on the right it says 10. That's what I'm going with. Next yeah, there's P9 ahead of us, so we are in P10. Next car is Thomas. Who looks like he's in the Adidas car. Which is weird. Never really been an Adidas race team. Oh, we've got a bit wide at Poo on. Maintaining the back with Thomas. Keep him with the back of him. I think it's the Adidas car. Yes, it is. the Adidas on the slide. Not going to be able to make a, a move up there. It's a good spot to make it, though. You can catch people napping there. Be careful. All over the back now. Mids contact giving him a bump. Go down the inside. He's turned in on us. We've got caught to the side of his car. Don't know what happened there. We might have to view a replay. But we kind of just went in there with him. Yeah, let's let's try and get a replay. We went in there side by side with him. And for whatever reason, we got stuck together. So let's see if we can try and get a view from the replay cameras. So here we are. Tucked up behind him. We've gone like we've gone that's really hard to see. Uh, so who was it? It was the Adidas car. Whoever the Adidas car is. Right, let's find him. That's not us. I think that's him? No. We were a bit further up, I think. Just give us a moment. We just got right, that's us here. Well apparently that's us. That's definitely not us. Okay, well we can view it from us. So we were bumping him he was going really slow, nothing too major. We go down the inside, and yet, for some reason, he keeps trying to turn whilst we've made the contact, and that just kind of makes a chain reaction effect, and we're just pulled off together, so... Bit of a tricky one there. He could have, if he turned the other way, or just went straight, we would have, you know, got off each other and be able to get on with our day, but nevertheless, let's get back on the assault. We lost a position to Tansy and all of that, back down to P10. Got to hold to the back of Tansy, maybe make a move at the bus stop, which I think we did on Tansy before. So he'll be aware of us this time. Make it look like that. Oh, sell the dummy down the inside! I think we pulled that off very nicely indeed. Cover him off, cover him off. He bumped us a bit, he bumped us, he bumped us! Half spun us, but kind of corrected us. And we've lost all the positions, all the hard work is gone. But we're still really close to everyone, so maybe we can negate the damage a bit if we're careful. Let's try and go about cheeky dive bomb up the inside to turn one. I think we're going to be able to get away with that. Take it nice and tight. That gives us a good run. Oh, I'm not sure who that is. It might be Hardy. Hardy, yeah, we got a good run on Hardy. And now we're behind Fix. Oh, Rouge, got to focus on getting a good run. Hopefully he doesn't get. Oh, that's a lovely run. Made so much time on him through there. That's a weakness for the AI by the looks of things. Going to pull to the outside of Fix now, getting him around the outside. Maybe get straight into the slipstream of Tansy, which will able to... Yeah, he pulls us along and basically secures the move for us. That's nice. We've got that and what nice and worked out. Now we're with Tansy. Hopefully he doesn't make a dive bomb. He's making a dive bomb. Got to give him room. Had to come off the racing line to give him room there when he made that dive bomb. And the car just slid. So... Cheeky from Fix, but it's nothing they can't do. We're going to get him back, repair the favour down the inside. Hang him out to dry, make sure he can't come back on us on the exit. We've done just that, now back onto Tansy. But yeah, I was kind of like, this car is kind of like a Formula 3 in an LMP2 met and just created another being on the world, so. Kind of the best of both worlds, it's kind of cool. It's really nice to drive, really different. But nevertheless, getting a lot of time on Tansy through Puon. He's going to shut the inside, which is fair enough, so we're going to have to try and do it around the outside if we can. He's holding it. The arrow's still there. The arrow's still there. The arrow's still there. Come on. Gently, gently, gently. We got him. We managed to get him. That was awesome. Awesome job. Somehow around the outside, that would have looked good on the TV cameras. Woohoo! and pick that one up. <laughs> Except the fastest lap though. We got about a lap and three quarters to go, so 
We're in the points at the moment. Let's see if we can get further into the points. That's cheeky. Driving this car conservatively seems to be the way to go. Staying in high gears instead of going into low gears seems to gain us a lot of time. But we're going to a low gear through here anyway because we can't have to to get the nose down. See, normally a second gear corner. Take it in fur, nice and easy. And we've gained a lot of time on. I can't really see who that is. I think it's, it's Bonte? Might be Bonte. I think I saw something. Yeah, it's Ponte. Okay, we got we're close. Non Ponte. Ponte. Ponte Pandy. Back up to the S-Bends again. We've been getting quite a lot of time from here if we get it right. These two, Ponty and Richmond, seem to be battling. We just need to wait. Wait for something to happen. Because if they make a move, if Ponty goes to make a move, then that's going to cost both of them time. So we got that in the back of our minds. But we're, all, um, we're gaining time on Ponty ourselves. Ponty, terrible exit. Look to the inside. He's going to have the slipstream of Richmond, though. He might just survive this because of that slipstream, but we're at the inside. Surely we've got him now. I think we have. Nice. Richmond going slow, getting... We had so much speed coming out of the... out of the corner on the run-up to Blanchemont that we almost got both of them in one foul swoop there. But we did not. We're going to try to stay behind Richmond now. Take it steady. I don't care if I lose a little bit of time. Oh, that's, that's a lot of time. And he's hit me. AI on this game, don't know how to avoid a crash, it just made that a lot worse for us. The idea there was to try to take it a bit easier to stop losing the car, but there's just no way to not lose the car through the bus stop on this game, it's impossible. I've taken so many different lines, so many different speeds, and there's just nothing that stops you from spinning there. So now we're back out of the points, P9's there for the taking, um, those guys have gone, I'm not going to be able to catch them at all. Hard work has been diminished uh, because of that bus stop. So what we're going to try do is try get back into the points. We've took Orouge flat. You're not supposed to be able to do that, surely. But we've done it. And now we're going to go around the outside of Fix. We've hit him. He's made a late move. Managed to get him around the outside, but we lost a bit of speed on that one. Got to be careful. We've got him now. We've got fixed. Back up into the points. Okay. Tansy ahead for P9. We can still get two points. I think P9 would equate to. So we've still got the opportunity. There we go. That's a move. That will do us. Thank you very much. And now we just have to get a gap, take it easy, and bring it home. And I don't know how we're going to take the bus stop. We're going to have to take it really slowly, um, like crawling. That's why I'm trying to get a gap now, so I have enough of a gap to crawl through the bus stop. Because that seems the only way to not spin in the bus stop is to go through there at like 10 miles an hour. Right, here we go. Down into first. Oh, see? Almost lost it, even at that. There we go. We've crawled through it at God knows how slow. That's the only way not to spin out of the bus stop chicane. But there we go. Come home in P9. That's a drive from P16 to P9. That is a decent amount of positions, and it's probably the best we could have hoped for. We took the fastest lap as well on the last lap by the looks of things. Um... How many did we do? We took it by about three tenths. So, that's a pretty good showing as well. So, yeah, guys, that has been a Seto Corsa. Um, it's got potential. That's a bad time to put the replay up, isn't it? But, yeah, it's got potential, but it's just... I don't know. There's a lot of features that I feel, you know, need rectifying before it can be up there with, like, the project cars era of things but it has got the potential hopefully Kuno has had a few things to make it the complete racer that it is on the PC but until then yeah 
that has been a set of coastal guys i hope you've enjoyed something a bit different on the channel obviously hope you're enjoying the variety if there's anything else that you guys want me to play i might have it so if you want to leave it in the comments below please do so and i will get a video out of it if you guys want to see it and i have it but yeah until then guys it's been turbo from gaming now this has been a set of coastal thank you for so much for watching and goodbye